Today's lesson is about how to graph sine and cosine functions. Here are the steps. First of all, make sure your sine and cosine function are transformed form. Then you will identify A, B, C, and D so that you will find the new center point, that's a CD. Remember, C is a liar, means always opposite of the given number. Then check what kind of graph paper you got. You figure out the period and then the unit of the graph. Then use the period divided by units to figure out for each period how many units are needed. Then use the units per period to label one period from the center point. You need to figure out uh, the five key points of a full period from the center point. I will talk about those uh, five key points later on. Then you need to connect these uh, five key points according to the pattern sine, negative sine, cosine, or negative cosine. Then you can extend the graph into more periods. First of all, match each function to the correct uh, graph. Y equals uh, sin x. We know that uh, sin x when x equals 0, y should be 0. So it has passed to 0, 0, which means uh, this one or this one. Then for pi over 2, it should be 1. That's definitely D. For y equals negative sin x will be reflected across the x axis for y equals sin of x. Therefore, that will be A. For cosine x, we know when x equals 0, that's y will be 1. Because cosine 0 equals 1, then x equals pi over 2. Cosine pi over 2 is a 0. Therefore, we could say that c will be the answer. For y equals negative cosine x means for this graph reflect across x axis, we got b. Then try to remember each pattern. It's very critical for you to remember this pattern when you graph a sine and a cosine function. So what are the five key points? For example, y equals uh, sin x. I have one, two, three, four, five. We call these five points um, key points. For cosine x, we have one, two, three, four, five. For y equals negative cosine x, let's get started from your minimum. Then go up, go to maximum. Going down, go to minimum. For y equals negative sine x, get started from center. Then going down, going up, up, then go down. Let's talk about that again. Y equals uh, sine x. 
We got to do get the two pi because the period is two pi. So we got pi half again. We got pi over two. This half we got three pi over two. Then we got one. Here is a negative one. So that pattern will be zero zero, then going up, because pi over two is one, then going down, go down, go here like a wave. So we sketch the graph like this. For y equals the negative sine x. Think about this s. Then you push this、uh, s down. You will get the graph like this. So we still do the two pi. Here is pi. Pi over two. Then half again three pi over two. We got this is a one. Here is negative one. Then try to find five points: one, two, three, four, five. Therefore, we got one, two, three, four, five. Then connect these、uh, five points. That's the graph for negative sine x. For y equals、uh, cosine x, the graph will be like this. We need one, two, three, four, five. So we do the two pi. Half will be pi. Half pi over two. Then this part is half three pi over two. Then we got one. Here's a negative one. Remember, for cosine x, we get started from maximum, then going down, go to minimum, going up, go to maximum. We can sketch the graph like this curve. For y equals the negative cosine x, graph will be like this. Get started from your minimum. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We still label as two pi, pi, pi over two, three pi over two. Then we got one. Here's negative one. This time we get started from minimum, then going up. Like this. So we can connect these、uh, five points. Yeah, that's the graph. Let's go to guided practice. Graph the following trig functions. First of all, you will figure out the a, b, c, d. A will be two, b is a three, c is opposite to this、uh, number because insider is a liar, negative pi over six. Then we have one. Center point will be negative pi over six, one. Remember, insider is a liar. So for period, we got two pi over b means、uh, two pi over three. Look at the given graph. Each unit stand for pi over two divided by. Check how many units between this pi over two. We got one, two, three. So divide by three. Two drop down. That's pi over six. 
So unit will be pi over 6. I label over here. That's a pi over 6. Then we will figure out uh, how many units per period. In other words, for one period, how many units you will get. So we do period 2 pi over 3 divided by pi over 6. If both denominator we reduce, then this is 6 jump and a 3 go down, we will get 2 times 6 over 3 equals 4. Therefore, first of all, I will figure out the center point, negative pi over 6, 1. That's over here. Then we will form new coordinate plane. Then from this uh, center point, I move to the right uh, these uh, four units. One, two, three, four. It's uh, here. Then we will get uh, half of uh, this. That's here. Half again. Half again. Got these uh, labels. Then a, that means uh, from your center point, uh, go up to, go down to, to get the amplitude. Since we are drawing negative sun x pattern, which means uh, like this pattern, we need uh, five points. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to label these five points on the graph. We get started from center points. That's one, then going down here, two, three, four, five. Then we connect these points. We got This is a graph for one period. If you want to sketch more cycle, you can keep going. Now let's uh, go to individual practice. We will get uh, A, B that's equals to 1, C and a D. So we got A is 2, B is 1, C will be positive pi over 4 because it's a liar, and a D is 1. So our center point will be pi over 4 and a 1. For the period, that will be 2 pi over 1 equals 2 pi. Look at the unit. How many units between pi over 2? That's a 2. So we got pi over 2 over 2. That's equals pi over 4. Then for one period, how many units? We got to do 2 pi divided by pi over 4. Then pi pi is gone, jumped, multiplication, that's 8. Therefore, we will figure out uh, pi over 4. This is uh, pi over 4. 
and a one will be here. Then we go to form new coordinate plane. Then from center point, I need to get uh, eight units to form one period. So I count from this uh, center point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then half will be here. Half again, then half again. Do not draw a point. Just uh, label this uh, vertical line, small vertical line. Points only for you to connect uh, to form that graph. Now, since A equals 2 from center point, I go up to still horizontal line, down to here. We know cosine x pattern will be like this from maximum so one two three four five from maximum one this time draw the point two three four five then you connect these points to form this graph That's it. Let's go to number two. Y equals negative cosine one half x plus one. So your A will be one. B is one over two. C is a zero. D is one. Center point will be zero, one. Period will be two pi over 1 over 2 equals 4 pi. Check this uh, graph. 2 pi divided by how many units between 2 pi? That's 4. So get the pi over 2. So I label as pi over 2. Units per period, we use 4 pi divided by pi over 2. Numerator, we can reduce. Then this 2 jump up. You got 8. Therefore, you will get a center point. That's a 0, 1. It's here. Then we will form new coordinate plane. Then from center point, you will get uh, eight units. Count that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. Then half, half, half. For a equals 1, we've got to do that over here. The pattern for negative cosine gets started from uh, minimum. So graph like this. We've got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points. So from the this graph paper, you will get starting from Minimum one, two, three, four, five. Then you sketch the graph like this. Let's go to number three. 
A will be 1, B is 2, C, insider is lighter, therefore opposite of negative pi over 6 is pi over 6, D is negative 1. Center point will be pi over 6, negative 1. Period, that's 2 pi over B, means 2 pi over 2 equals pi. For the unit, check how many units between pi over 2. That's pi over 2 divided by 3 means pi over 6. Units per period means pi divided by pi over 6. Numerator, pi reduce. 6 jump, you got 6. So first of all, find pi over 6 and a negative 1. That's a center point here. Then we will form new coordinate plane. Six units will form one period. Therefore, from center, I count six units. One, two, three, four, five, six is here. Half here. Half is here. Half is here. Then for amplitude, go up one down one. This is a sine function, means uh, from center point going up like this. So you need to figure out one, two, three, four, five. That's a get started from center one, two, three, four, five. So we will sketch the graph like this. That's the graph for one period. Let's go to number four. First of all, make sure this is a transformed form. So we got to do sine divided by two. You got x minus pi over two then minus 3. So A will be 1. B is 2. C, that's pi over 2, opposite. Then D is negative 3. Center point will be pi over 2, negative 3. Period, that will be 2 pi divided by 2, that's pi. Unit, according to the given graph, pi over 2 divided by 2, this is a pi over 4. Therefore, I use pi divided by pi over 4. This to reduce 4 jump, you got the 4. Then we will find the center point first. Pi over 2, negative 3. That's here. Then find those uh, four units from the center point. One, two, three, four. Then half, half, half. A equals one, so go up one, down one. For sun x, pattern will be this. 
So get the one, two, three, four, five points. Get started from center. One, two, three, four, five. So sketch the graph like this. This is the graph for one period. 